chose to embarrass me and I feel like that's what being an influencer is like and that's where I learned how to cry in the shower honestly I had hit 190 pounds you got on Facebook Messenger and cussed me out. I don't live on Facebook and I'm just ready to travel, live my life, to heal from all of the things I've been through in my life the proper way. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we trespass against us who trespass against us. Okay, love bugs. Today I am super excited. I did a makeup tutorial for you guys. Yay! cues the like little loud like yay music in the background i'm super excited to be back in my groove i don't know i've been in a rut these last few years where i've just wanted to create content and kind of like go ghost on you guys in a little bit or for a little bit but i feel like i have been inspired lately to give you guys me and let you guys re how do I say it? Reintroduce myself to you guys. So excuse me if I misspeak or overshare or ramble off. I almost feel new to this realm, even though I am kind of sort of a vet here um, in the space. I feel a lot more vulnerable when I talk and I speak and I share my mind with you guys. This is what the look looks like. Lashes are from BDECBD.com. It is a part of my lash book. Um, it's going to be Lion that I'm wearing. And I have the whole thing, but you guys can see I go through these like water literally this is two stacked together and then i have i just go through them so um these are very 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 dramatic but new lash rebrand with individual lashes coming soon makeup is giving such a vibe and i'll have all the details on everything i use in the video but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the makeup tutorial okay guys so i'm in the middle of a hair tutorial i went ahead and installed this beautiful wear and go wig let me try to keep my chair off of the wall so you guys don't hear that step one sometimes i'll be really crusty on here and it'll even be intentional it's like if i'm doing my hair i will like be fresh out of the shower and come straight and do my hair especially if i haven't even done my makeup and as a result probably have it moisturized so so i can be a little less clockable today let's start off here i also also did already moisturize my face and I used the glow recipe moisturizer and that's pretty much it so let's get started I do when I bring back the hair tutorials I would like to do at least once a month for you guys and this is the Baccarat oil the only thing I don't like about this quick review is that because it's an oil if you get the oil on it like your picture or your label starts to come off and I'm pairing that and what I'm wearing today with that is the aqua Universalis Forte and this is also by MFK. I like to pair my MFKs and I have so many of these like samples. I'm starting to use them up to see if I like them before I actually buy the whole thing. That one is very fresh and clean. I don't really think I like it for my collection but let's get started. So fast forward it's probably been about three years since my husband gifted me this Louis Vuitton piece and I can say for sure it's gotten its cost per wear because this is what I keep my makeup in. And obviously I use it often, but I am going to switch over my makeup storage just because I want to start using it for fun stuff. And so these are the brushes I've been using lately. Um, I am not going to wash them, so forgive me. Lately, I have also been using the Marc Jacobs foundation brush. This I got as a impulse buy when Jaclyn Hill was doing a lot of makeup tutorials. She swore by this and I love this when I do my foundation with a brush, but... I've been noticing that like when I go eight hours, nine hours, my makeup has been like very much like sitting on top of my skin and textured. So I'm going back to the good old beauty blender just because I feel like my makeup is more likely to look like skin. It's almost like, you know, they say beauty blenders will absorb the makeup and make you waste makeup but with the foundation brushes not just that one all of the ones that I've used I just feel like when it comes to my long wear my makeup has just been looking and I know you guys may even notice in my makeup tutorial in my hair tutorials that like sometimes like I'm doing my hair tutorial but the makeup just looks a little ugh and that's been the issue like when I edit I go back and I'm like I really want to delete and redo this hair tutorial because my makeup looks trash okay so let's get into foundation I want to kind of go fast because the kids are out of school my husband went and picked them up and they have to go to Trader or they're going to Trader Joe's so this is probably the quietest my house will be for a minute these have been the two foundations that I've been using this one as you guys can see is a little bit more warm and this one is a little bit more cool I love the NARS the other one velvet matte velvet I think it's called the most this one is luminous and I don't really like luminous but I love the color of this one I need to go to Sephora but I've been kind of like dreading it because y'all know how it is you go in for one thing and you come out with 400 
does with the stuff and you guys can see how beautifully this one blends but i also love the finish of the mario so what i do is i did like a pump and a half two pumps of the nars and then i'll do like a pump of this one and i apply them separately because i feel like when you put one top one pump on top and one pump on bottom it doesn't mix so it'll concentrate so i apply it more so mixed also, I need to get a new skincare routine. So if you have some things that you would like to recommend, because I've been noticing a lot of texture on my skin. I even had like a little forehead breakout that I'm trying to clear up. I did really great this summer at just really leaving my face alone. I get in a shower and I rinse my makeup off and I'll usually use the Youth and the People, I think it is, that cleanser as like a makeup remover because I don't like makeup removers. So I'll use that to like go in and cleanse one step. And then once the makeup is off, I will go in with one pump of the Panoxyl to clean my face. And then I'll go in with my Dove Bar Soap, just a regular blue one. And I'll lather it in my hands really good and just put it all over my face during clear of my eyes because it does burn if you leave it if you get too close trying to get like to your eyes and you're gonna leave it on and i do leave it on so I, like i'll do that kind of put it on as a mask and wash up and that's been working great to kind of like almost like dry out my skin to get rid of these bumps and also drying out the texture in my skin and then rinsing that off and then i've just been using the glow recipe i've been keeping it very simple i just haven't had the time or the energy for like the 16 steps that we typically will do also my target got a ulta in it i've never lived local to a target that actually had an ulta all of my targets have never ever ever had the ulta in cap to it so i went in there surprisingly i've seen they've been moving stuff around but i went in there and i realized why the women's section was all tormented and jumbled up around the whole store there's like women's shapewear inside the men's section and all kind of craziness it's because they were putting in a ulta so i've been needing to go to ulta since the beginning of the summer because i love the i love the morphe this is my favorite i've been trying all of the others but I just can't get jiggy with them like I get with this. Like it doesn't, nothing sets like that for me. So I was able to get that in this because Ulta is not far from me, but it's not local or convenient. So I haven't been able to go. So these are the two things that I consistently go to Ulta and take that extra trip for is just the shape tape. And I've heard some things about people. Well, I keep hearing people say that they don't full with tart but i i guess i'm in a bubble because i'm completely unaware of why so if you can leave it in the comments and let me know why are people canceling tart one thing that i've been prioritizing since the kids started school in august it's kind of like a reflective season where i've been kind of just like a fresh start in a way like fresh school year is almost like a fresh start and then my birthday is coming so that also kind of feels like a new year for me and so the one thing that i have kind of set my intentions to is time getting my eight hours of sleep time and hydration and i know that might be like well why would you pick time and hydration like as your like resolutions and i just feel like when i look back at last school year we do the good night routine and the good night routine is where the kids take their showers i prefer for them to brush their teeth at night when they're like awake and aware and cognizant so that when you wake up and also get your clothes out so that when they wake up in the mornings um you know kids are delirious and so i can make sure that they are ready to just go literally slip on their clothes rebrush their teeth but i know that they're not going to brush their teeth in the morning as well as they do at night so just giving them the opportunity to be prepared for the day but where i feel like i failed is that like i literally would snooze the clock until like giving them only like 15 minutes to get ready and it's just last year was chaos even them coming home the energy i put into like their homework and dakota was in kindergarten so like her reading log i just kind of like we survived they got good grades they're very smart kids and i'm not gonna like we did homework we did all of that but it just felt like everything was on rush or my energy wasn't like putting them into the mode of enjoying homework it was like we got to get this done so let's get it done and so this year i'm focusing on time so this year um for example i'm giving them 45 minutes to get dressed and so they have no reason to hear me like cussing and fussing and yelling you know how we are as parents this is why you don't need to play in the video games so they don't need to hear that kind of stuff before going to school and it's not about gentle parenting it's just about okay if it feels like you're yelling too much it's you not the kids because they're prepared 
prepared at night for school um when they wake up in the morning i wake them up they're able to like get up a little bit slower go in there brush their teeth do their hair i go in and i moisturize them myself i put the lip mask they love the lineage um i've been packing their lunch myself in the morning and putting the little handwritten notes in there i've been teaching them how to pray so um in the car we do are doing a rotation today was dakota's turn their kingdom comes, uh, will be done on earth, guys, in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us as we trespass against those who trespass against us. Uh, and, and lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from all evil. For thy. Chickly boots. Let me try. Okay, let's go. Our Father, thou art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth and in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us as, as we just pass again. I've never taught them how to pray. They know God is grace for lunch, and then they know now I lay me for bedtime. So whoever's turn it is will ask everyone to bow their head, close their eyes, and in the drive, that person will pray. And so I've been like guiding them with learning how to pray and not having a structured prayer, but just learning how to talk to God and thank him for all of the great things in our lives and kind of reminding ourselves all the things we should be grateful for and also praying for, you know, things in the present, through you know, the future or whatever the case may be. And then after that, we kind of will go through the Lord's Prayer because they haven't learned the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who art in heaven. So we go through that one time then, and then I like to now, when they come home go through it together another time because I'm teaching them that prayer as well as teaching them how to just pray in general and also teaching them like when you're crying when you're sad when you're happy close your eyes go to your space and pray because that's one thing that is important in my life normally I would just pray over them I take them to school and as they get out I say my prayer you know quietly to myself so that's been a thing that's been really good I just feel like overall we've been having great mornings where they're getting their mom's touch on school and just making overall better kids and so with that for myself it's been like how do I be prepared for the mornings and so I'm buying back my time and just prioritizing getting my eight hours of sleep so it doesn't matter where I am in my work or what I'm doing I'm no longer staying up till 5 a.m to get work done just to wake up two hours later and be exhausted bags under my eyes yelling at the kids because I'm exhausted and I'm you know, I snooze and so now I'm mad at them because I snooze and now we're rushing and they're not rushing and moving fast as I need them to. I'm learning how to just prioritize my sleep. Sleep and rest is just as important as all the other things. And so that has been super important to me. And we've only been in school, what, two and a half weeks? And it's definitely been a great thing. And also like taking them through the entire day and doing all of the things together. You know how we say like in school they should be teaching this home economics and how to do real world things. My husband is encouraging Diamond to read more financial literacy and like life literacy books because I've already made it a thing over the summer where they come into my room and we do 15 minutes of reading each as well as go over things that they need to learn. So they all need to get faster at tying their shoes. Dominic needs to learn how to tie her shoes. Dakota needs to get faster. And then Diamond converted from doing the bunny ears to the big people way and just getting faster so that when you're on the school yard or at a sport, you know, you can go really fast at tying your shoes. And so brushing up on all of the skills that are important to everyday life. Diamond is learning, you know, timetables and things like that. So math facts, two, four, six, eight, ten, three, five, seven, nine. 10, 3, 5, 7, 9. Just teaching him his math facts and getting strong at that. Dakota still reads, you know, where she will have to sound words out and she's doing great with that but teaching her to read a little bit more fluently getting her sight words and her bigger words memorized because you know not every word can be sounded out okay so I think I got the wrong color in the shape tape because it's not given the way it used to it's very subtle I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born this way 
I haven't used the shape tape in so long. Maybe I don't like that one anymore. We'll see. But yeah, that's been my, my priority. Um, They come to me looking for their daily vitamins in the evening time. And we've been doing the Mary Ruth's, which you guys know has been viral. So getting in that liquid multivitamin and trying to get them away from the gummies. But I'm be teaching them this week how to make smoothies and stuff so they can get in their greens as well as you know the antioxidants and just all of the things and just you know guiding them in a way to be more well-rounded people and also using myself as an example has been like the goal so now that we are all made up the one thing that i do like to do is i like to take the leftover from the foundation and just kind of like cancel out harsh lines forgive my forehead not only is it broken out but i don't like to use cream or liquid if i'm going to be producing or filming multiple things and so I have two hair tutorials to film today and I hate when I like remove the wig or I'm putting down baby hair and there's like liquid makeup there. I'll go in with powder to make it blend and you'll see how I do that. I guess I'm just giving you guys a little life update and my life updates are pretty boring because I'm such a mom. For the last year I've had them consistently in Diamond has been in basketball little league which my husband has coached and i just feel like he wasn't improving um the girls were in gymnastics as well as ballet and tap and i wasn't seeing the skill set that i would expect like the amount of time we dedicate to you know getting them to and from these things what do you get the trophy for being a part of the program for a year and i wasn't even expecting it i didn't even realize they had been with the gymnastics company for a year but it made me evaluate and realize like they've been there for a year and they haven't learned a single skill not a flip they learn how to four roll tumble at home playing with each other but they haven't learned how to do a cartwheel they learned back bends at home with me as well but they haven't learned to cartwheel they haven't learned to master the beams they haven't learned how to do anything it's like they're going there to get exercise about same with like ballet and tap combo they're not coming home as ballerinas or with a specific skill set and so i decided to kind of like pull them out and restart so for diamond you know i kind of pulled him from the basketball games and i found a facility where it's like a warehouse but um you go in and it, it's an app so pretty much i pay in my of course it's on auto pay but um i'm able to go into the app and just book his sessions and his dad has been able to take him and you can book the the skill court or the shooting court or both and each you can book in like 30 second 30 minute increments and so he's able to like stand in front of the big oversized tv screen and like the the person is teaching them him how to like dribble and just do different types of like ball work ball drills i don't know what it's called and then he does 30 minutes on the courts and then they have specific days twice a week for each age group so on this day and this day he's able to go and actually do like a practice with kids his age and like a coach and they don't have games it's more so to build the skill so he's going to be doing that he's also learning coding so he's a coding school that um he did summer camp at so i have to sign him up so he can do that and in the end the ultimate program is supposed to like build you up so in the end you're able to pretty much code your own app for the app store so he wants to do that and that's like a long-term thing that he'll be doing as well and then with the girls like I said they weren't learning skills and they're so obsessed especially Dominic they're so obsessed like Dominic if you go in her room in the middle of the night she's turned the TV back on and she is literally jumping around either like a gymnast or like a dancer and she is obsessed so I realized when I see like Instagram pages of like different dance facilities or gymnastics facilities, their students doing these amazing skill sets and it's not just my kids, it's the kids that have been in you know the program with them for years also are not learning new skill sets and so i found an all black or a black owned i will say dance facility and i like the program and i've been kind of like watching them for a while and you know on their social media they're showing the kids actually doing the splits and doing you know all of these skill sets whereas like as parents paying this money and taking time to like invest our time and our money into the kids you're seeing them do great things the program requires you to have i think a three or four class minimum so you know you're in there and they're working and again through their social media and through the recitals and stuff you see the kids actually progressing if that makes any sense she's even sending them to like workshops and like master classes and things like that so i reached out over the summer because they were already a part of a dance school but the dance school that they were a part of they had a recital over the summer and although I did 
love it and i did see how well the bigger girls were doing for dominic's age four you can only do ballet and tap which is a one combo class they didn't have the opportunity for her to grow and like have acro you know acro or learn flexibility even in gymnastics they're not teaching them flexibility so i just had to find something different and then with dakota she had to test into the bigger classes at five and a half i mean six and a half which is coming up for her but all of the girls in the six and a halves are like much older so the fact that she would be like an age gap or an intimidation i just wanted them to be with kids that look like them and are the same age as them so i reached out to the new dance school and she was saying that they were just now preparing for their recital what like two or three months back and so she was like they can join in september i've seen them post that fall classes are starting but again my only drawback is that it's like double the distance from home as their dance and their dance class was already far so the commitment of knowing that i have to be there for two or three classes um they are stacked which is also good and again i think it's so worth it especially for them to be around people that look like them since they don't get that as much in school they can get that at least through dance and i'm not talking you talk talking you guys to death about my kids but that is my life so i'm going to take and just set with the laura mercier translucent powder in medium deep now i don't even know what i'm doing because i never do this Nothing. that's where we are right now i do want to change the scope of my channel and i'm not gonna get rid of hair tutorials and i'm not gonna make a separate channel but i do want to commit certain days for different things so i really enjoy like hair tutorials and stuff so i am going to be bringing back the hair tutorial I mean hair tutorials I'm going to be bringing back makeup tutorials which I never had a permanent place for makeup tutorials I feel like I've just done them on the whim per periodically but I would like to do at least once a month actually twice a month would be great or sometimes it'll be like a full get ready with me with an outfit sometimes it'll be like a life update like it is today where I'm just literally talking to you guys with no rhyme or reason and then sometimes it'll be just a specific makeup tutorial like if you guys want to see a drugstore makeup tutorial they'll all be different this week it's a drugstore makeup tutorial the next time it'll be like all nars products then another time it'll be all black owned products and then the next time it'll be like a full get ready with me where you used to be do hair makeup outfit perfume the whole zhuzh also a great thing this summer has been another great bonding experience with my kids is that we have been cooking together so we were getting i had gained so much weight just just because like during the quarantine we door dashed uber eats and it became like a normal thing where you didn't have to feel guilty about it because we weren't supposed to leave the house and i gained so much weight that at the beginning of the summer i was 189 i had hit 190 pounds i am now back in the mid 160s i'm about 165 which 165 is big to me but the fact that i hit 190 and i remember not this summer like that we're in right now but last summer getting dressed or filming a hair tutorial and i think i had showed my outfit and i think i was like in a halter top and somebody had commented like be careful sis with your weight or something like that and i think i had immediately de deleted the comment because it was triggering because i knew i had gained so much weight and the person wasn't even being like mean or malicious but it's kind of like putting me on blast even though you mean well it's like you're gonna leave this me leaving this comment for everybody to see even though they can see that i've gained weight too i don't know stuff like that is triggering that's what makes being vulnerable and like doing vlogs and stuff so hard is that knowing that people are going to comment on your life your parenting your weight your friendships your relationships everything you do they're gonna have a comment and it's like in their mind they means well but it's like if we are sitting at a dinner table and my breath stinks and you say oh your breath stinks take a mint in front of everybody you meant well but you also meant to like put me on blast in a way and now i'm embarrassed because nine times out of ten i already knew my breath was a little bit parched nine times out of ten when people have odors they know it they just don't maybe assume that you can smell it but now i'm embarrassed 
when you could have just sent me a text or whispered in my ear or whatever the case may be you chose to embarrass me and I feel like that's what being an influencer is like look how my eyebrows look I always draw them in very inward and then I buff them out I hate when the front is super square so I over draw it to the front so I can make that blended look and I use the comb on the back to kind of like blend that out a little bit you guys can see how I took a lot of that way already and then I use the same brush I can find it and I use the same brush that I use for like my to brush away or blend out my highlight and I just kind of like blend it upward and as you guys can see a lot of that went away now I used to like clean up the bottom but we don't have time for that anymore now I can do lashes and liner I've been loving these these are from my brand I don't have a lid right here because this is the last pair but this is my brand bdagbeauty.com all of the ones are named personally by me but lion is like the most dramatic of them all this is the second dramatic but I have loved these been loving these so much I'm just removing the glue and talking to you guys so my plan for this new year if my 35 again it's about having the rest to really just not burn out and to really 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 kind of like take my life back I want my life to be a lot more enjoyable because I've been feeling like I'm just a workhorse. I work, I take care of the kids, which is labor. I work, I take care of the kids. You know, I don't go nowhere. I don't do anything. And I'm just ready to travel, to live my life, to heal from all of the things I've been through in my life the proper way. Because I think that like even just like my mom passing, I never really mourned that loss the way I should have. And I think that's been weighing on me a lot lately is that I didn't heal the way I should have. Of course, August is her birthday. My beautiful Leo queen. I think about my mom every single day. But like when it is August or even like the end of July, I start to feel this funk that is like my body is telling me we're getting closer to another date that I have to like acknowledge that she's not here even though I think about it every single day acknowledging it out loud just I don't know and so that's another thing that like really bothers me and triggers me is that like losing my mom was the hardest thing that I ever went through not only was she my mom and of course she was my best friend from high school until the day she passed I believe it was what 20 2000 five six years the last six years of her life I actually worked for my mom so three days a week I would go to the office which we worked for a corporate company in Century City she was a an accountant and um, her job was very tough you guys know accounting is a very 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 hard industry and I came on and she kind of like finessed me on as her assistant because accounting is so hard but sometimes like the way her job was structured it was hard and they had tried before I came in to like bring someone else in but it's just like by the time you have someone come in and help you you still gotta go over it it really didn't help so I came in and I was her assistant and that was the best thing that ever happened to me because not knowing that she was going to pass, I spent that six years spending like, you guys know, if you grew up in the 80s and the 90s and even the 2000s, our moms went to work. So no matter how close you were, how much you talked to your mom every day, how much you were with her, you never had like full days during the week to be with your mom she was at work during the week you were doing whatever you were doing the weekend on the weekend saturday and sundays you guys ran errands you went to parties and events sundays you hung out we did the lifetime thing and again we were like this but just having those like deep conversations about life and just about just so many experiences i got like so much time with my mom which I didn't even realize of course I valued it but I didn't realize that she was gonna leave me so soon in life and now that she has I was so grateful that I got all the time for her to see me you know as a young woman to understand my mind and my mindset and how I thought and how mature I am and just all these different things that I felt I forgot to put on my bronzer and my lashes I'm gonna do that really quick on my lid and I just take my bronzer and I literally will pack it on the lid but yeah just having deep combos life combos different topics that happen even down to the fact that like the week before she passed away my bosses I believe it was eight days before she passed my my boss our boss's wife who had been terminally ill um had passed away and her telling me not knowing that she was gonna pass away less than two weeks later that she never wanted to go and be buried in a cemetery because of how much my brother would like worship the grave and she just had a belief that when you pass away your soul is not there the body 
you know, and your soul separates. So whoever's in the grave or whatever is remains, but it's not them. Even down to like my, when my grandmother passed away, she took responsibility for my great grandfather. I mean, he lived with us until he passed away. And he passed away from cancer, which my grandmother also did, but he was buried as a veteran. And we never ever, like we, he passed away. We went to the grave site one time and we never went back. And so she would always explain that she just didn't believe to go in going to see people at cemeteries. She didn't like that type of stuff. So when she passed away, knowing and living with my mom and knowing how she felt, no matter, knowing that like she never went to visit my grandpa. And then like, even with my grandma, our pediatrician, she was buried at, or she is buried at Inglewood Cemetery. And our pediatrician's office, literally the window of my pediatrician office looked out to that cemetery and the tree she's buried near a specific tree my grandmother that is looking out that window and being able to see kind of like the close proximity of where she was buried the only time we went to visit her it was kind of like because like her sisters would visit or stuff like that she would but she just literally didn't believe in it and so when she passed i made the same decision it wasn't about money because of course she had like a small work life insurance policy which of course you know is how you pay for some uh funerals and I opted as the next of kin and the one who literally put the entire thing together I had to go find my mom an outfit for her funeral which is literally still crazy and traumatizing that I did a lot of that stuff by myself I had to view her by myself and all of those things and I had made the decision not to bury her and I think that a lot of people had an issue with that I remember one of my family members yelling at me about something months and months and months later that was unrelated and me kind of like not accepting being yelled at especially through Facebook she just kind of was like well the way you're talking to me now that makes me wonder what happened to your mom and it was just like you got on Facebook messenger and cussed me out because I didn't respond to a Facebook message I don't live on Facebook especially when you have my real number and because I did not respond to your Facebook message you are saying things like well that makes me wonder what happened to your mom that stuff like that like i don't let things like that go i forgive but like you know again it just made me realize and then just finding out everybody thought like my mom had this huge life insurance policy and i was just living my best life eating up this money that never existed again she had a work policy but i had to work to take care of my brother and that's kind of like where my healing went instead of like healing and going through the motions i got back to work and i put everything i had into like just taking care of my brother and kind of just like bottling it in and i would do the whole like cry in the shower thing and that's where i learned how to cry in the shower honestly these lashes are not working because i'm talking too much anyways i'm gonna put these lashes on and i like to have a lot of the things that i talk about here as ongoing conversations especially because we're going to be doing this often um i do have a vlog that's fully filmed but i need to go ahead and edit it so perfectly i'll be able to edit it tonight and get it up and then from there i'm gonna try and join the sunday youtuber vlog schedule either sunday or mondays i'm gonna try for sundays and then these makeup tutorials will go out like midweek so that in the midst of everything you'll still get like the different type of content Okay, lashes are on and my kiddos are home, so I'm going to wrap it up. And I think you just heard my garage open. So now that we are together, I'm going to buff out the under eye highlight. And I'm going to bring it all home. So this is all blending. And what I like to do while I blend is I like to go ahead and do my lip. Today I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk 3. I kind of will apply that messily and then I'm going to use the Sephora lip plumper and sometimes what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of my highlight that one's a little too yellow but I'll still use it and I like to just take and like blend that in and I'm going to let that blend in while I do other things also the milk makeup Kush mascara has been my favorite so I just like to go under and make sure that my real lashes blend and then i'm gonna take and warm up the cheeks typically i'll either warm up the cheeks or i will add blush and this kind of marries a highlight and a contour you can dab it in or you can buff it hi sweet girl okay 
Mm-hmm. Three, two, three. Hi, Poppy brought me your backpack. Smart boy. Let me go ahead and go through backpacks with the kids and hear about their day, and I will be right back. You got homework? Mm -hmm. Okay, so my camera went out. I don't even know if you guys seen or heard the last things I said, but I sat with this just like that, blow dry. And this is a finished look. Now this is my full beat look. Typically I do a full beat look for nighttime if we're going out and for filming. If it's a daytime all day thing, typically I would do a natural beat, but I am in the middle of filming a hair tutorial, two in one. Through all the talking and chaos that I did all over the place, I think she, she cleaned up really nice, right? Right? <laughs> Blood without, 